Hello, Twitch. How are the... Hopefully everyone's having a... A lovely... Wonderful... Just captivating... Hump day. Um, got an interesting menu tonight. Sort of... Maybe lunchy. But... Still... Loud kettle, sorry. Um, but still may, paying homage to QP or QPI or however you pronounce it, Mayo. Um, I'm probably going to repeat that about like 20 times tonight, not knowing how to pronounce the name of this company. Um, uh, but going to be making a bunch of fun stuff tonight. We got chicken salad, we've got, which I'm going to put some avocado, some, um, we got some avocado, we got some dried cherries, we got some sunflower seeds, um, celery, green onion, I'll sear off some chicken breast here fresh for that, uh, then I'm also going to be doing a chocolate pudding using mayo to set the pudding. Gonna have to rush on that one first thing here. And then, lastly, I'm going to be doing roast carrots and make a vis revisit to uh, trying to roast some oyster mushrooms. And... So roast carrots, roast oyster mushrooms with miso, QP, or cute pie, and a number of other uh, lovely little goodies. Should be a nice little side dish. But first, as been the new tradition for me here, we're doing a little coffee. As I'm bumping the camera, I apologize for that. So how is everyone out there? We all having a lovely day. I am no longer connected to everything here. Oh well. We'll live without it, chat. Well, we'll live without that bot feature. And I'm ignoring my coffee again. <sighs> so we got colored carrots for our roasted carrots. Also, look, obviously, going to use a little of that carrot in with that chicken salad. Um, but yeah, we got to get started on that pudding first thing here. I've already got the oven kicked on preheating to 350 degrees. Um, do I have an easy to grab? Huh. Where is my last of those pans? I have a half pan around here somewhere. I know I got one on top of the stove that you may or may not be able to see, but that's not the one I'm speaking of. That's a 400 pan up there. Right there. 
I'm looking for a 200. Because I'm pretty sure I got one here somewhere. Oh, hey, almost perfect. I guess we'll just use this one. I gotta clean it though. I don't wanna clean it. Mwah. bought a new toy at the store today. It's not much of a toy. It wasn't a very expensive toy. But it is something I've sort of needed for a little while now and haven't bothered replacing. Is a new measuring cup. And in fact, I bought two of them because they're buy one, get one half off. <laughs> um... But I got some new cheapo glass measuring cups. So that should be nice for measuring tonight's puddings, which are in measure. So I can measure milliliters once again. I had one of those nice, uh, I even used it a little bit on stream here. A, uh, that like measuring cup that Alton Brown loves, it's like a plunger um, and I ended up getting rid of that either early this year late last year because the seal on mine had completely gone it wasn't really holding very well it wasn't doing much of anything really anymore and so toss that out and I had another measuring device of some sort that I had gotten rid of in the last year or two ago. So I was lacking in the measurement department for, at least for liquids, but in general. For a little while now. So now we've got these bad boys. Yay! Pretty typical, just glass, just old school like Pyrex glasses. Still working on figuring out where those are going to be stored. That's the. Until I actually start using them in place. Okay, starting with our pudding. Pudding. Gonna need ourselves a clean bowl here. It's a little wet, but it's clean.
and we're gonna need egg to start, sugar to second. Mayonnaise coming in a close third. Uh oh, shell in there, shell alert. Ah, then they go and do this. What the heck? They go and give me tablespoons. weird they have tablespoons in there but the rest of it is metric Cupy. This is not a huge recipe here. Hopefully this is actually only all gonna fit in one ramekin here. We'll see. But I'm not being too adventurous with tonight's dessert. I'm actually um, taking this re recipe directly from QP. This is their... They have a store where they do all sorts of products based off of their products. They have... I mean, they're primarily a mayo company, but they make dressings based off of this. They make... Uh, they apparently have a secondary company that do a whole bunch of jellies and jams in Japan. And so uh, this is something they actually have in their cafe as one of their things. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, Oh, where are you, Coco? I know you're in here. It's 
skipping ahead here. Need the milk and cream in the party here first. Oh, hey! I got a new venture truck just for this project. Two hundred milliliters of just good old whole milk, given just a light stir there. I'm not trying to. There's already enough bubbles there, but we didn't want to create more. And I'm just gonna eyeball this second recipe here, or second ingredient here. We got a little organic heavy whippy cream. We're going to call that a tablespoon. Battle already. Battle, battle. I can't hear the audio again. That didn't work either. Now we got desktop audio. I'm not hearing it, but it's apparently on the stream now. That didn't fix it. Oh, let's live with it. Let's see if it works here in a minute. Entropy getting that those kills. Wow, 27. Stealing them all from us. Entropy with the scroll reward. Congrats. The heck are these? Okay, so this is sort of a speed map, I guess. Um, I'm gonna put my guy down here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put my guy right here. Get him into the battle right away here. See how we do with this in 30 minutes. I haven't done one with these dragon eggs, but we got to kill those. Can only buy damage by the ancient dragon. Oh, so these are the egg of an ancient protector. Okay, so we have to protect those until they hatch and can kill the boss. That's a cool map. I'm down with that. So we're adding our two teaspoons of Good Ghirardelli cocoa here. 
Which, I say good. Ghirardelli is definitely not my favorite chocolate company. It is the big name here in San Francisco. I don't know if they're really the biggest producer here in San Francisco, though. I want to say that Guitar is probably outmatching them. We have, uh, oh, what's the name? There's, there's another major chocolate company here in the San Fran area in the East Bay somewhere. I actually visited there when I was here. Scharfenberger. I say, I, I was I actually visited when I was here. I meant when I came out here for college. Not most recently living here. So the name of the game here is mix to combine, but not to whip that dairy. Hey, the AFK Kitchen. Been a minute. How you been? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. We're working on doing a dinner inspired by the use of Kewpie mayo. Uh, I do ingredient challenges every Wednesday, so people can feel free to join in in my Discord. And sorry, I'm not showing you what I'm doing right now. I still got the game going there. Uh, but, uh, every Wednesday I have an ingredient challenge on Discord. We do a weekly vote. We've got the winner here with QP, but we've done a whole bunch of different ones in the past. And we might as well start up our next one here while we're chilling here. I have not done a gochujang stream yet. I have gochujang in the kitchen, I believe, right now, actually. Did I use that for... What did I grab that for? Oh, I bought that for uh, when I was doing the Bo Sassam. Um, but we got to start a next one for next week here. Which, it's looking like we're going to have a fun one here for next week. Next week. It's going to be May 19th. And what is our two contestants to this week? We have Wendy's Frosty with four votes for it. Let's see what else we got with three or more. Okay, we got Wendy's Frosty versus Frank's since the top of the list start from the top down or first submitted. So, Wendy's Frosty versus Frank's Hot Sauce. Was this one? No.
Uh, I wish I had a better choice here than just hot sauce. Hot sauce is a little bit of everything here. Oh, well, this is good enough for our vote here. And we already have someone voting. Beating me to the punch here. Lexi beating me to the punch. But go ahead and vote for your favorite of the two by clicking the chef logo there. If we have anyone new, log in. I will give you permissions after the stream. Or earlier if I come back to Discord. But that will be for next Wednesday. Either have to use Wendy's Frosty for dinner and dessert as an ingredient. Or Frank's Red Hot. Both of those could make some interesting dinner. So we got our mousse mixture here. That actually looks like it's going to fill my ramekin pretty well. <coughs> Is that going to be two? Well, it might, mm, might be one. Ain't no room for error there. That is straight up to the edge. No worries, AFK. <laughs> Have fun catching them while you still can. <laughs> Okay, so we got that. Now we need a water bath for it when we throw it in the oven, which is what I needed the pan for. Let's see if I can't one shot guessing how much water we need here. Because we need it to go at least halfway up on that. Preferably a bit higher. See what we get with this. Okay. Think we're just about right there. Okay, so now we get the fun job of transferring that over here. Oven already preheated. I think I'm going to skip trying to pull the rack out. I find just about every time I pull a rack out to be careful about doing things, you shift the back with the rack and the rack shakes everything. So we're just going to skip that. I'm just going to try my best to quick move that over here. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to need about 30 minutes here in the oven bacon. Followed by about 30 minutes of cool down time. And then we put it in the fridge. Ideally, you would want to let it sit in the fridge overnight. We're obviously not going to do that. So that's going to have to be maybe breaking into a little bit early. Well, let's go ahead and start in on some of our other stuff here. We're going to start in on the chicken salad. And that is going to start with chicken. I think I've got three chicken breasts here in that package. I bought a package of chicken breasts because we're doing chicken stock on Sunday. And I've already got so many, so many carcasses that it just was ridiculous for me to keep making more. So we got ourselves three chicken breasts here and we'll get some of that started on the stove there. And we want as little moisture as possible here, so we'll give these a pat off before we throw them in the pan. Ideally, oh, we're throwing this in chicken salad, so I'm not worrying about it too much. But if you want the best finish that you're going to get on that chicken, you're going to want to throw it in the fridge uncovered, like overnight. And it'll look dry and like old compared to... How you got it from the store don't worry about that it'll be awesome once you get it in the pan we'll hit those with some salt while our pans warming up a little oil in the pan too since we're dealing with chicken breasts and without the skin too so what's fat there is there is pretty much gone at this point it's just gonna be Lean breast meat. Actually, let's do that one. I already got the bedroom door closed, so I don't have to worry about the smoke alarm. Wait until we get a little bit of light smoke going here. Although at the same time I'm lowering the flame underneath it to a little bit closer to a proper shear temp here from just full on high blast. I can see some light smoke there. Very, very light smoke. Not enough for me to want to put that in there yet. starting to get a little bit of quiver on that oil. We're starting to get a decent amount of smoke where there isn't a lot of oil. And there we go. There, there, there we're finally getting some nice proper whiffs of smoke here. like modern airplane breasts. I can't stand working with airplane airline breasts. If you come across them before, they are epitome of what I dislike in our food world of that perfect consistency when the consistency shouldn't exist like that. Um, 
just, you know, box chicken with the chicken breasts all perfectly, all the same size, all ready to go in uh, uh, cheap disposable plastic containers. Yeah, this reminds me of the exact same thing. Coffee. I forgot about my coffee. Ah. Oh, I forgot to set a timer here, too. Just set the 25 minute timer there. Hasn't been five minutes, but we'll give it a, a look see at that point and maybe give it a judgment. It's going to be pretty hard to judge this. This is one of those recipes where you just got to sort of nail it. And then, because you can't break into the pudding before you've both rested it and refrigerated it. So you're not really going to know the if you've gotten the proper bake on it. There is no real, like, this is the right bake. It's You have to do it and try it. Hit the other side of this chicken with a bit of salt as well. A little MSG and salt or pepper. Hey, I already did salt. I'm also happy, also happy bouncy today. I don't know, maybe it's the caffeine. I sort of decided to grab two of these. Besides, it wasn't just the sale that caught me on buying two of these. It was uh, the idea that this is one of those glasses that I'm going to use all the time probably for proofing my yeast. And then if I'm using it for proofing my yeast, I can't do it to measure anything else in the bread or the, the dish. And so I got two of them now. You know? And it cost me what three dollars? Not even. I don't even remember what I paid for them. I know that I bought one of these at at Walmart for my business for like a dollar back in a couple of years ago.
turn the pan 180 degrees or roughly 180 degrees there because you can just look by the color that this has gotten more heat over here than that has. But what I should also be getting going here, I wasn't really thinking about it, I should have all my veggies ready for tossing the oven to be roasted. So let's start in on our prepping for our carrots and our mushrooms. Pan, parchment. Or clean our bowl here and use this to toss them with oil. So we're going to use this again for something else too. Let's throw a little butter and melt a little butter in there. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Knock that thing out again? I don't even have anything else plugged into it. We're going to give those a little more time. I was thinking they were probably done by now, but those need another. They're on the edge. Maybe with carryover, but. So we got butter over on the other side there melting now. carrots to rinse off here. butter, not brown butter. Getting a little toasty over there. Oh, 
always depressed with how blah these carrots end up turning out these days. I didn't even get any orange ones this week. I mean, how boring can you make a multicolored set of carrots? By the way, you should immediately cut the tops off of your carrots off. You should never leave them on. Um, some people use them to make pestos and stuff like that. I generally just toss them in the compost. But uh, the longer you do leave them on your carrots, the more the plants are going to try and feed these from your carrots. And so they will... not improve your carrots by being left on. There are some things you can leave the tops on and it'll be fine, but carrots is one you should just take them off. We're going to need two of these bad boys for our chicken salad and the rest will throw in our roast carrots. Um, let's do a white and a yellow for the salad. I do have some orange carrots that we can add some actual orange color into this party, but I sort of just want to leave that one. That was a little bit large. Battle already. Okay, so there's our roasting carrots, there's our salad carrots. Let's see, where is the majority of our forces here? Well, I'm gonna give haste to these. Sir, tempted, I wish I could, I wish I had gotten you guys to hurt, hurdle up in the center here and that way I could have given you a damage spell or something, but Let's see how we do. See how we do. Why do I have this game there? a little bit better.
Woohoo! Our dragon won. We all died. But we won the map. We beat the boss. Way to go, guys. We, we all died. Quiet Jay getting those kills and assists. Wow, that's a that's a run there. Quiet Jay and Entropy getting the scrolls. Congrats, congrats. Boss defeated. Let's see. The heck is that thing? Um I'm gonna chest up top one gold. Or no, the gold's down here. Huh. I think we're gonna go down and get that treasure chest map to here. We'll we'll start here, we'll go up here, and come back down this way. Or either down that way? Who knows? But we're going to start over here. And there we go. Okay. So we got carrots done. Let's put the carrots in the bowl here. And we got oyster mushrooms. Let's see what sort of a mess I got of my oyster mushrooms here. Some of these with the large tails on them, I'm going to cut a little bit of the stem off of. Oysters to hip are pretty tender as far as mushrooms go, but still their stems can be a bit chewy-ish. Use all the stems here. For stock on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. All of our old other mushrooms that we've been saving around for stock and allowing to dry out in the fridge. Add our mushrooms into this party over here. And then we've got our butter from before that I'm going to add a bunch of mayo to.
salt MSG, even more MSG. There is MSG already in QP Mayo, which is its sort of claim to fame uh, compared to your average American Mayo. It's going to be a little bit saltier. It's going to be a little bit more um, savory because it's got MSG in there. We'll go ahead and give that a mix up and we're going to toss that with our veggies for roasting. And the butter's here almost more to thin out that mayo than anything else. Since we're at it, add a little sesame oil in there too for flavor. minutes on our first check on our pudding. We got our cooked chicken. Let's chop up our chicken while we're waiting on our pudding. Still some sauce in that pan. We'll make good use of that too. Nice and cooked through. Why you no choppy enough knife? Nip.
still looking nice and well cooked there. Just fair, I mean, a little bit on the edge there, but that's all right. You can have a little pink color and be properly cooked through. It's got to be faint. Like, like it is there. This is definitely cooked. It's not ready though. At least I don't think it is. But like I said, it's one of those things you don't really know. Just gotta trust the process. take all this lovely chicken juice and we'll add that over the top of these. Let's use this butter and mayo ladle or uh, spatula here to pull all that out. All that good flavor. to making oh nah. let's finish up our roast and veggies so we're gonna take our lovely fat and mayo little egg little milk solids toss that in with our veggies here thank you foxclaw welcome in hopefully you're having a lovely hump day so we'll go ahead and Give that a little toss-up action. We'll hit those with a bit of salt.
Thank you, little Waddles. Welcome in as well. So that's Pepper. A little MSG. And do I want to do that? Hmm. Yeah, let's add a touch of garlic powder too. Okay, so on to the pan. So I separate everything out into a single layer here as much as possible or as reasonable. Okay, so that's now ready to go in the oven when we're ready to take out our pudding. I don't know why that's all the way over there. Put that back on there. We'll set this back off to the side. We'll put the trivet here. Let's see how our pudding is looking. It could be there. It could be there. I don't know, it just seems a little too spotty. I was sort of think, hopeful that I was getting a nice, clean, clear. I, maybe I should have mixed things a little bit more. I don't know. But let's try taking this out and see what we got. I think I'm going to give that a little bit more time. Like 10 minutes a time. So. Going to be waiting a little bit for the stuff to get going in the oven. What did I do with my knife? I cleaned it. Okay. So we'll chop up our carrots for our carrot salad, or for our chicken salad. so white that they look like parsnips. They're not though. They're carrots. So pale. Getting to that Jason sweating period of the evening. Of course, 
sort of my own fault wearing a sweater today. That it wasn't all that hot out here. I mean, compared to other parts of the world, maybe. But uh, we didn't break the 70s today, so... Grab an orange carrot too, just so that we have a little bit of proper color here. I'm not going super, super fine with these. I mean, I'm not making big chunks of carrot, but I go a little bit thinner, a little bit finer when it's going into like a salad salad instead of a chicken salad. These are more like an eighth inch thick or so. It may give you a little bit of a bite, not much. Onion. Yes, I put red onion in my chicken salad. Deal with it. I'm only going to use half of this. Other half will throw in the fridge for some other project. Where are you at that it gets so hot? I mean, I'm here in Sonoma County, California, so it, it get it's not exactly burning hot. We get we get warm days, but it, it's not Texas. It's not hot, hot, hot. It's not Arizona. I went and put my knife when I used her onions away. This is the knife I need for my onion cutting.
mean, Arizona is another one of those. I do not envy my cousin that lives in Arizona. I just can't stand that heat. I lived there for about six months through winter, and that was enough to tell me that that ain't the place for me. Why are you not diced? All sorts of strays with that onion. I didn't do a very good job with that one. taking this out now for better or worse oven temp up to, eh, let's do 410. And I wish I could get you a good picture of this. Oh, well, let's see if I can't careful this underneath the camera here. Um, we gotta wait for this to cool. We do have a nice little skin under there and it it's a little wobbly. We gotta wait for that to cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is wait and give that good 15, 20 minutes here just cooling on the counter. Then I'm actually gonna dump ice into the bath, cool the bath down, and use that to help cool the help cool down our pudding. Hey Rhino, welcome in. How you doing today? We're working on uh, QP, QP, QP dinner. We've got carrots and oyster mushrooms that are tossed in a combination of butter and mayo, seasoned, about ready to go into the oven to get roasted. We're working on making chicken salad. I've got a chocolate pudding that I've made using a little bit of Q pie. It's Q pie's Q P co pie. I don't know how it's properly pronounced, but however it's pronounced, there's some of that in their pudding and that is actually their pudding recipe that they serve at their own cafe in Japan. I'm sitting here looking at they have it published on their own website. It's in Japanese. I had to translate it, but Yes, it's like, it would be like the, like the doll. But yeah, I am definitely not a Japanese speaker. Next up on our list of goodies are in the salad, or chicken salad here. We've got parsley, we've got green onion. 
and we get uh, celery. Caillou pea? I, I actually haven't heard it pronounced that way, but I think that's phonetically how you're going for it there. But I generally either hear like Q pie or uh, Q pie. That is some ugly looking celery, if you ask me. It just don't got no color. It's some definite supermarket celery there. Let's go ahead and do our battle. And I'll just give haste to the majority of us here. See how we do. Audio is messed up on that again. Not happy with that at all. Think we got it. Down to the last two here. There we go. Victory. Quiet J with the kills. Sir Slugginston with the assists. Welcome in. That's not a name that I recognize. Glad to have you. Fang Mermaid and Quiet J with the rewards. Congrats. See how we do in 30 minutes. Actually, let me take a look, see if I got any upgrades and stuff. I will leave that there. Blue Moon. Doing pretty good, Blue Moon. We're having fun with Japanese mayo tonight. However you pronounce it. Doing pudding, which is cooling down on the counter here next to me here. Hidden behind the mayo. We've got veggies that are ready to go in the oven. We'll go ahead and throw those in. These are seasoned rainbow carrots and oyster mushrooms that I'm going to throw in a 410 degree oven. Take a look at those in 30 minutes. And lastly we're making up some chicken salad. But I've been doing pretty good. I mean Life goes on. There, there's always reasons to be unhappy.
thinking I maybe should have cut the chicken up a little bit finer than I did, but it's a chicken. It's the star of the show. Cutting too much celery at once here. Pack is getting away from me. I agree, Blue Moon. That's why I, I mean, I originally got into cooking in college. I mean, yeah, I was cooking at home. Always enjoyed cooking, but uh, I, I really got into cooking in college after I realized that I could spend a shift worth of time hanging out in the kitchen worth the kitchen classes, but um, and feel like. You know, I had just gotten started. Like, not the day just blew by. I used to love it. Still do love it. I will point out there that they are all food-related. At least remotely food-related. And they can be all varieties of languages. Not necessarily just English there. I don't know if peaceful is the word. <laughs> I've, I've been in some very unpeaceful kitchens before. But uh, at home, yes, it definitely is peaceful in the kitchen. Oh, is this my, this is my cilantro, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't want cilantro. I wanted parsley. Double check. Yep, that's cilantro. Oopsies. Parsley was right behind it. We'll do the onion first, though, since we got that out. Hey, quiet, Jay. Nice. I missed colored slash me. Uh, it could be what Quiet J did because I don't think they typed scramble to join into the yeah, it was. You do have to join in, apologize, Quiet J, into the scramble by typing exclamation mark scramble. When the bot starts up the game once again, does the game once, I think, every six minutes, every ten minutes? Something like that. Let's see what we got here. How what's our timer on this right now? Every six minutes. Hey, Chef Summer. Burger 
sounds good right now. Of course, I got this nice chicken salad sandwich waiting for me here, too. Nice Chef Summer. Okay, what else are we adding into our salad here? We're going to be adding dried cherries. We'll give those a chop up before we throw them in. Yeah, we got a couple that are mighty quick on that word scramble. This is one of those four. I hate that design. That's becoming more and more popular with products. They're starting to come out with like Velcro seals instead of focus. Yeah, Velcro seals instead of your, your standard Ziploc. Don't like them nearly as much. We also got sunflower kernels that I'm going to throw into both of these, both this one and as a garnish on our veggies. See that one still has a decent Ziploc on it. The cherries I'm going to have here just to cut them out down in size a little bit sorry to hear that chef summer yeah that's always been my problem with you know kitchen tables are all too low for me I, I need to be like here I mean, it's a rough one on just cooking in general is a rough one on the body. And it's without getting into all the cleaners and chemicals and breathing junk from cleaning with things, whether it's the proper way to clean them or not. I always think that I screwed my lungs up uh, breathing in cleaning chemicals that were boiling hot in the kitchens just trying to get out the door. I lied, I'm quartering these, I'm not having them. So you just little chunks of cherry sweetness intermixed in with everything. A little different than your typical like raisins or what else people people throw apple in there all the time for sweetness. Now here is a project that I don't want to do. Dehydrating cherries. Ugh. Pain in the butt between having to pit all of them and then they never look nice after you've pitted them. 
You did 500 pull-ups yesterday. Um, well, you did 500 more than I could ever do. Oh, I'm... I'm on the edge of being considered tall. I'm... 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 6 somewhere in there, depending on who's measuring. Throw out these tops of the bags. Yeah, but I'm not a 7-footer, too, and they... They do exist. But yeah, most things, tables, counters, chairs, they're not designed for me. Airplane seats. I really realized that actually this last trip is that um, even though most of them have those seats that you can sort of put the headrest and pull it up higher, even with pulling it up higher, my shoulders are still on that armrest, so my shoulders are curling in when I'm in an airport airplane seat to get into the back of the seat. So I'm hunched over in the chair to sit in it. <laughs> I'm tall compared to the average person. I'm not tall compared to the tallest people. Hey Evangeline, how you been? Being stressed, stressed out just means you're alive, though. You get things to worry about. Smelling that loveliness in the oven. Even more so over this pudding. This pudding isn't putting out a ton of chocolate or cocoa smell. Gotta remember to go to the farmer's market on Saturday. It's been a while since I've been to the farmer's market on Saturday. But, gotta go put my down payment on my quarter of beef. It's 
sir wondering if the farm's cut on things here was the hundred bucks. <laughs> or if they get a second cut back from the butcher because I'm paying the farm a hundred bucks as like a down payment for my quarter of steer. And then I have to go and pay the the slaughterhouse uh, the rest of the money when I go and pick it up based off of the weight. They have to be making more than a hundred bucks off of that. They can't. Yeah, that doesn't make sense that the slaughterhouse is making all that money. There's our pudding. Now we're going to swap that out with cold water. Hey, chili music. Yeah, it's good stuff. I, I just happened to have it already around in the kitchen. Who would have guessed? Ice likes to freeze into a giant block. Meant for that to happen. So we got ice bath and putting goon back in. Without ice underneath it. For anyone just coming in, we're doing Q pie. For dinner tonight, we got a QP, Q pie, uh, stealing the actual pudding recipe from their cafe. They have a cafe in Japan, and I took the recipe right off of their website. So we'll see how this turns out. I have no idea if this is the right ramekin here. We might have supposed to have been do this in two smaller ramekins, which is why my cook time was longer. We'll see here. But anyways, we have pudding. We have a uh, chicken salad sandwich that we're working on our chicken salad for here. And we got oyster mushrooms and carrots roasting in the oven. We're gonna, those are already tossed in butter and mayo to do the roasting process. We're gonna have a bit more mayo for the final dressing along with some other goodies to go with that. Um, we still have our avocado to throw in here. I'm waiting until last minute to throw our avocado in there. I want our dressing ready for this. We got another 10 minutes left on that. Let's see what all I'm planning on putting in with. Let's make our miso dressing for the roasted veggies first.
just happened to have Misha still around in the kitchen. How convenient. Misha was our ingredient here, uh, was that two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? We'll go ahead and throw that there. Little mirin. That was maybe a little heavy on mirin, but it's supposed to be a tablespoon worth there. Ah, there's no soy. I just assumed there was going to be soy there. little water. I assume just to thin things out. And yeah, we need more than that in this. We need more than that in this. So yeah, I'm going to add a little soy sauce. I might add a little lemon juice here too. Hmm. There's no I in custard. I'm horrible at this game guessing. This, uh... Word scramble. I hardly ever guess them myself. We'll do half and half. We'll do half of it in here, the other half in with the chicken. We need some acid for with the chicken. I was sort of thinking orange, but Kratitas.
It'll make me look it up. I know the word, I don't know the definition off the top of my head. Just means marinated in Spanish. Okay, so we got the one half of that lime juice in there, the other half in here with the... This is going to be one of the two sort of sauces we're putting over the top of this. We have our miso sauce that we're going to put over the veggies on the plate. Or we're going to toss them in it after we're done roasting them. And then we're going to drizzle mayo over the top with a bunch of other goodies over the top. Battle to battle. Let's see how we do. I just realized. You guys probably aren't getting the music at all tonight either, are you? That's a bummer, because the music's been kicking butt tonight. There we go. You get it now? Well, the music stopped. Red not getting those kills. I guess I did all the assistant. Fang Mermaid and Entropy getting those rewards. Congrats. See how we do in 30 minutes. So back to our miso dressing there. It's not dressing, but our coating sauce. Take a look at our veggies here. Veggies down here are looking quite yummy. Carrots are cooked. I think we're gonna go with that. That's that's looking yummy to me. Look at that beautiful color on that mushroom. Beautiful color on that. So let those hang out over here and cool down a little bit. We're going to toss those with this and then we're going to dress them on the plate. We're going to need a little of these guys. I didn't want to buy nori. I'm not a big fan of nori, but I thought a little seaweed would be a good addition to this. So I bought these, what I assume are nori seaweed snacks. 
They look like Nori. Which are just, they're just seasoned roasted seaweed. Focus. There we go. And then I lost it again. There we go. Sort of cool looking. How's that been? Reminds me of the sea. Salty, sea watery. Um, that I can deal with. These are a lot better to me than nori is to me. I do not like nori. And I know that this is just nori that's been cooked, but still, they're a lot better. Actually, let's do it this way. That looks like a good length. That could be all it is, Evangeline, but when it comes to the nori that you find with sushi, 99% of the time, I'd rather not have it. Um, I need another bowl. I need to clean this bowl so that I can use it for tossing our roast veggies. And yes, I realize I keep calling it, I, I keep hesitating when I say roast veggies because I realize at the same time, mushrooms are not veggies. So it's really carrot, roasted carrot and fungi. But, roast stuff. So we can toss our roasted stuff. It's a type of kim. I'm um, maybe lost in the conversation there. I've bit my lip three times in the last 24 hours, all in the same spot. It is driving me nuts. And the first time, like, I drew blood. Like, I seriously bit that lip there. So the two other times has not been fun either, even though I don't really think I did near as much damage. Absolutely not what I wanted to do there. Okay, veggies are good. That's good. That's good. This is ready to go. Huh. Am I mixing anything with... Yeah, we're going to do a mix for our... dress in here so I'm gonna take the cap off here cuz 
we, we don't need that type of restriction in our lives. Um, gonna move all the mayo down to the bottom that we can here. If there's one problem that I have with this product, it's the bottle. Um, you never go, th I mean, it's impossible to get all the mayo out of this bottle. Like, you can sit here and play with it and play with it and play with it and play with it. There's still going to be mayo left over. It drives me nuts. <laughs> that is my big problem with this product, and that's the only one. It won't work with chopsticks. It's because of the top here. Because you're never going to get this. This is hard enough plastic here that I can't even hardly bend it. I mean, the chopsticks would work fine for that down there. But... And it's going to happen down here, too, because you're not going to compress that down. Yeah, it just doesn't taste great, does it, Blue Moon? We're going to cut this. mayo with some pretty soft and runny sour cream here. <laughs> oh, where's the shire? Blue Moon, I suggest the next time you try coffee, I, I think this would be a lovely substitute for your half and half the next time you make coffee. Give you that creaminess, little fattiness. Um, just give it a shot. Pinch of salt. MSG and pepper. Yeah, it's like that bulletproof coffee. Where they blend butter into the coffee and kill the temperature of your coffee. little white pepper to go along with our black pepper there too. A little dried thyme. Oh, our ice cream sounds good. A little oregano as well. Smell like manure. I doubt it does. Does it smell like a Sonoma Aroma Day? Let's see. Does this smell like. Yeah, it does have a little barnyard aroma to it. It's it's not quite fully there. It's not full development fully developed manure smell, but there's a little manure like that there. Um, I hadn't tried, I hadn't smelled that like that before. That's interesting. Oh, it doesn't taste that way at all. Um, you gonna throw a little dried basil in here too. Dried mustard. A 
and a little cayenne. We actually have days here in Sonoma County that the the we have cattle here. I mean, we have cattle on pasture out here. And so what happens is there are days of the month or days of the year where they go and spray the manure out on the fields to help promote and fertilize their pastures. And just the entire county will just reek. The entire, I mean, you'll smell it for miles around. Um, so that's sort of the, I mean, I'm sure it's a little bit everywhere where you have cattle, but we have, I, I haven't smelled days like this anywhere else. I think I was a little light on my seasoning there looking at that. I think we can hit that with some more herbage. Oh, I realize, yeah, they do it for... But it's always the dairy farms around here that are making the real smell. Okay, there's our chicken salad dressing. I think our bowl over here is probably dried enough now. Let's see, has it dried? No, it's still wet. We'll dry it out. We'll take our miso. dressing so to say. Add that to the bowl here. We'll add all of our roasted veggies in there carefully. Okay, there's our roast veggies. Let's do our avocado and mix our
that it is. Thank you, Suki. Welcome in. Yep, and you can't process a horse for food here in the States, but you can sell it to Mexico to have it processed there. <laughs> Evangeline. Do I have the whole peel here? Yes. Okay, so we got our chicken salad mix here. Let's add our sour cream and mayo mixture. Oh. There was one other thing that I'm adding to this that I forgot. I forgot it as I was turning around what I was putting in there. Oh. Buttermilk powder. I mean, we got a little sour cream in there, but that's going to give us even more tang and should help uh, thicken things a little bit. It's sort of hard to see with the light there, but there's powder in there. We got to mix in a little bit. How's that look? I think that looks gorgeous. I know everyone's like, but you covered it in dressing and it looks all white now. Why not, Evangeline? Give you a real proper close up on what I'm shoving in my mouth here. Pretty yummy. Other than the little bit of butter that I tossed this in for uh, 
roasting this would be fine for you and since I roasted it with that butter probably wouldn't bother you too much you usually cooked uh, dairies are just fine Really? Usually the dried... Yeah, this pudding's going to need a little bit more setup time here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this pudding tonight. I think that's going to have to sit overnight. So we need some bread grilling. So we can make our sandwich. Actually, I take it back. I don't like that about their bottle either. It, it really doesn't like the stand up either. It is a great product. I do recommend it as a. If you want to try something different with your mayo, try something maybe a, a little bit more of a punch to it. That's good stuff. Wish I'd thrown an orange one or two carrots in with this too. They're, these all just turned out looking too pale. Even the colored ones are all disappeared in there. I say colored ones. There was only one red carrot in there.
Really? Nice. What new things have you added in? Or what have you improved upon? You may not have added anything. You may have just replaced things. Oops. Burning my bread over here. Yep. Ah, one was okay. But we're replacing that one. And I'm realizing there's a nice cube over there I missed. It's creating the puddle. trying to smoke me out of house and home here. Hey, Becca. Nice, Evangeline. I'll take a look after the... Well, actually, we can do that here on stream. Off to battle. To battle. pan is off so it's not like it's continuing to heavily cook ooh the rogues snuck by they got to those last chests Are they gonna make it through again oh they're gonna kill everything on the way back am I going to survive this fight got a sliver of health there ooh tank down. Are we going to do it? Can all the range kill everything? They're all going for the healer. Woohoo! Victory. Fame Mermaid getting those kills. Suki helping out with the assists. Entropy and Suki getting that 50 gold. Nice win there. I get some mage scrolls and some musket uh, musketeer skin. I've got an upgrade for mage. I completed a uh, quest as well here. Move on to our next map here. Going back down, we're gonna stay in the bottom. This is going to be our last battle of the map, actually don't know, or battle of the night, actually don't know if we're going to be, have enough time for this, because we're just wrapping up here. 
We just gotta build our sandwich. We got our toasted bread. Need to add a bit of mayo onto this side too, even though we got enough mayo already in our chicken salad. It's mayo night, so let, let's. Gotta make sure we have enough mayo here, not just over the veggies, not just using mayo to brown our bread, but need it on the inside before we add our mayo coated salad. Let's take this off of the plate. Let's not finish our salad on the plate. Grab our salad here. No cheese. Don't need cheese for this. Evangelino approved that. Set this off to the side. We get the cutting board cleaned up a little bit here. Mm, where did I do with my bench scraper? You can't eat it from the buttermilk anyway. Well, yeah, but... Actually, I'd be surprised if the buttermilk powder bothered you either. But then again, you said cooked dairy bothers you. Actually, sort of wish I could. Eh, let's do the photo from that side. Where's my phone? Where's my camera? It's looking a little darker than it is there, too, in that this light.
Then our pudding is still setting up. It's going to need a little more time. But there is our pudding. Which that'll get a dollop of whipped cream, little mint sprig when that is ready, but that needs to hang out in the fridge a little bit longer. Probably overnight. Probably going to be a tomorrow afternoon uh, goodie for me. Uh, let's see here. Who can we pass the fun off to here tonight? I've had fun doing Cupie Mayo. Hopefully everyone's Cupie Copie. Here, yummy. Um, had a lot of fun with this dinner. I uh, want to thank everyone for joining me. What did everyone think? Did I do okay with uh, using Japanese mayo for tonight's dinner? I get a passing grade tonight. There's someone I haven't seen on in a minute here. That's interesting. Yeah, why don't we go hang out with them? I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. Like I said once again, I had a great fun making dinner tonight. I think this is going to be amazing once it all gets uh, solidified. Um, going to be back here Friday, going to be doing, oh, I've already forgotten what we got scheduled. What do we got scheduled on Friday? We have fried chicken salad, sort of, maybe sort of Southwestern style, maybe, maybe, but fried chicken salad, and it's going to be national buttermilk biscuit day so we'll do some buttermilk biscuits to go with our salad we've got chicken stock chimichungas and uh croissants all on sunday gonna make a huge long stream maybe sort of slow in the middle there just do a little stock boiling time take a little break but going to have a long stream here on Sunday. I hope you join me for that. I just did a menu planning stream here yesterday night. I hope you guys can come and join me. I've got a whole bunch of dates down in that Google calendar in the About Me section. I hope you check that out. I hope to see you again here soon. We're going to pass the fun off here to uh, another Team Bone In streamer that I have not seen around in a minute. We're going to go hang out with Can't Eat Onions, which Evangeline is out there complaining about dairy. Try living your life without being able to eat onions. They're in everything. Everything. And so they're cooking up a fun dinner tonight. They're doing chicken, chicken fried steak with gravy and Mexican street corn should be some yumminess. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great night. I hope to see you back on Friday. Have a great night. Bye-bye.